Hello everybody, I am Frank Cubed, and in this video for... I will show you how I got past this sneaky snake scenario. I'm starting at this save point because... Well... I just got killed again. But that's okay, because dying is how we learn. Now, since this was my upteenth attempt, I knew that moving at the most fastest of speed would get me through this early section while narrowly avoiding my venomous pursuer. Look how close I got to its face. Luckily, I went mostly undetected, but as you can see from the screen shake and the sound of the rumble, the snake has caught my scent. Now, I had to show caution. I must prepare myself for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice to transform into Metal Gear Sekiro. That's all it's name. So I very discreetly jumped onto this ledge, grabbed onto it, creeped on left until the snake decided to look away without reason, and then I used this window of opportunity to pull myself up to go hug a wall. As I shimmied across, I knew my next destination would be to seek shelter in this tiny hut. Once inside, I felt safe and sound until the exit got blocked by my scaly friend here. How am I going to get out of this? I asked myself. My answer came when the snake moved even closer, close enough to peer into its glowing red eyes. Red eyes that reminded me of a battle long ago. A battle with the chained red-eyed ogre who was really scared of fire. Of course, fire is the key. So armed with this revelation, I was going to roast this reptile with a flame vent. But luckily, my shinobi instincts made me realize that the red glow was actually the death blow VFX. So I did this. The snake went into a hissy fit, allowing me to escape for the exit. It's here where I died last, cause I wasn't ready for this mid-air grapple that would launch me into a cave. A cave that would allow me to safely watch the snake snap and thrash at its missed meal. Better luck next time, snake. Thank <laughs> you.